Hi there. I thought I'd just jump on and talk about this for a second. I've just come off a live and I was sitting in my living room and I like to watch this guy sometimes. Right. And I'm going, what? Riot? Where? Oh, right. Well, apparently the one riot in, riot in Leeds is because apparently there was a family where a baby got thrown out of a window. So police have come, social services have come, took five other children out of the apartment and I should hope arrested the parents. Well, they are now using that as a excuse to go and riot, to loot, to set things on fire, to attack the police. So this, I say, send in the fecking army. Do not back down. Go in and take these out. Right? They say we are a multiracial country. No, we're not. There's one scene in here, and I will show you, if I can, where a lad is in the crowd. Uh, just before this. All right. Just here. We'll watch it from here. Certain pages to find it. Uh, but let's uh, talk about uh, what else happened, because there was a... Uh, during this riot, as uh, we've been seeing over the last uh, hour or so, and it's still ongoing as the police uh, can't really control it, there was a, there was a person who, who happened to be a white local uh, from Leeds uh, who decided to white. intervene. White. And it didn't go too well because of diversity. But so oh. Oh, Yeah. You better run. Yo. Some bad kid up and out here. Come on, bad kid up and out. Come on, white guy's doing it. The white guy's doing it. And we're not talking about reform here. Look. Everybody. And I say, where are you? Mixed here, everyone. Please like and share. Yeah. <laughs> Please like and share. Did you see that? Uh, the person who was filming, who was also, let's just say, diverse, was saying, uh, ah, a white guy here, right? He should, he's not welcome here. He, you know, you can't talk about reform, as in Reform UK. Said everybody's mixed here. Basically, what are you doing here? And they were gloating and happy. And they're all doing it. As I said, in the crowd, uh, the latest report that we also have from the local people, obviously you've got the gypsies, you've got the Islamic side, you've got uh, Bulgarians, you've got Romanians, we've got a couple of Albanians, everybody's kicking off. This is what happens when you say diversity is our strength. And when white, one white English guy goes into a crowd, that's how they treat him. Because it's no longer the home of the white English. This Right. Now this guy, yeah, this guy, he's a councillor for the Green Party. Politician as part of the Green Party, okay? Remember that face? Where is he today? Oh, he's in Leeds. That's what it's doing, causing trouble in Leeds, an elected politician. Before we focus on that and that idiot, let's go to the video of the other local councillor and the police uh, giving their reaction to the situation. Yeah, this is comical. This is Councillor Salma Arif, um, I'm here with... This is Councillor Salma Arif, um, I'm here with... Hello, my name's uh, Inspector Ray Nichols, I'm the East Leeds Neighbourhood Police Inspector. Um, there is an ongoing situation currently in Harehills, we're aware of that, the police is here. Um, we are asking everybody in the area to please stay at home at this moment in time. Yeah, so if you can all just stay stay where you are, stay in your houses, um, we, we will manage this. And if you're out in the crowd, I'll just ask you to go home please, so we can keep everybody safe, thank you. And we will uh, endeavour to keep local residents in uh, informed, thank you. Thank you. But so she can't even speak. <clears throat> there is an ongoing situation, apparently. Th their solution was stay at home, 
save the NHS, I guess. I don't know, right? Two weeks, three weeks to flatten the curve. The police officer who said that said, stay at home, we're on top of it. It's part of the same police force that have been running away over the last couple of hours. They've been running away from the crowd. Yeah, I'm going to show you a clip where the police are forced out. Well, we'll start from here, shall we? Because this is a public transport. This is a bus which had people on it. Jesus! Oh, my God! Look at this! Look at my life! This is crazy, huh? It's not crazy, man! It's not my day, yeah? Yeah, it's not my day. It's not my day, yeah? It's not my day, leave today. It's not my day, leave, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, normal day every day. Yeah, normal day at least, fam. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Right? That's a bus. I'm trying to find out. I must have gone past it. Because it was before that. It was before that as well. This might be... This might be. Watch here. This is our place for you. Oh my God. No way, no. One place, man. Go. No way. No way. This is our country, the UK, oh in England. No way, no way. No way, no way. The whites are welcome. No way. This is disgusting. Oh Every one of them can arrest me. I don't say I'll be tight. Then you can arrest the little feckers. The police escaped yeah. and surrendered. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just uh, switched on to... Right. Now, I'm glad I live up in Scotland. I'm not saying it's great up here. It's perfect on me. Right, but I have never, in all the years, I have lived up here, and I've lived up here now since 2000 and... 2008, right, I have never, ever seen anything like this up in Scotland, never, I'm not saying it wouldn't, couldn't happen, it probably could, but that's disgusting that the police were running away, so if the police can't deal with them, Send the flipping army in. They want to use weapons by saying throwing stone bricks at the police and whatever all at the army and use the uh, rubber bullets. Use the hose guns. Bring in the water hoses. You know what I mean? Do something. Don't let them run the times. The one in um, Whitechapel in London. You know what that's about? It's a Bangladeshi uh, community of causing riots because of something that happened in Bangladesh. Not something that happened in the UK, but something that happened in Bangladesh. Well, I'm sorry, but if you love your country that much, then get on a boat, get on a plane and go back there. I'm sorry. This is the UK. You abide by our rules. If you don't like them, then there's the plane, there's your ticket, bye-bye. Simple as. If we came to your country, we'd have to abide by your laws. There'd be no ifs or buts there, we'd have to abide by their laws. 
right? But you think they think they can come here, and because something happened in back in Bangladesh, they can start a riot here in the UK. And because of family, who, who, actually the parents, one of the parents threw a baby out the window. Don't know if it survived. Don't know. They are using that as an excuse to riot. Because the police went in, social services went in, removed the other five children, fair dues, good one. It should have happened probably sooner, before that they got thrown out the window. Right? If we used to look into that, I bet you they've got social services on their back for years and years. And nothing was done. But now a child's been thrown out the window, they've gone in took five children. Fair dues. They've arrested the parents, hopefully. But these, oh no, no, you can't do that, you can't do that. They go around looting businesses. Setting buses on fire. You know me. They're doing it. But that's okay. This is diversity. That's diversity. Right? When a white guy walks into the crowd. Now, there's other white people there, but it's not so much the colour of the skin. It's the race. Like, you got the travellers, you got the gypsies, you got... Uh, Romanian, you got whatever, yeah, Muslims, whatever. So it's not the colour of your skin, it's the race. He was white, and it's like, you're white, and he was English. No, nope, you can't be here. Get him out. What? This is the UK. Why are we letting people dictate to us what we can and cannot do? Where we can and cannot go? What we can and cannot wear? Why? Now, I hope this Labour that's been voted in gang in the UK sorts this out. Because this is so, so wrong now. So wrong. Right, I'm going to play a little bit more. Let's just go up here, right? Look at that lad. He's a young lad. What the hell? Where are his parents? Just watch this bit here. What? No way. No way. That's fucking crazy, fam. That's fucking crazy, fam. That's fucking crazy. What? Fucking crazy. Look at the guys. What are you doing, fam? What are you doing? That guy at the end, that was a definition of F around and find out. But don't worry, guys. If you complain about this, you're the problem. Um, also, do not be surprised if uh, this uh, situation from Leeds uh, escalates and spreads around uh, other cities as it did in 2011. Something that started in North London, ended up everywhere from Liverpool, Manchester to all the other major cities across the UK. I can guarantee you now it will happen in Birmingham, where I come from where I came from. It will happen there. It will happen in Manchester. I can guarantee you that. I know it will. I'll be surprised if it doesn't. Um, I can see um, Talk TV are talking about this as well right now. Uh, by the way, let's not forget there's been um, what the media called unrest 
uh, in various places in this corner of the world, in uh, the Republic of Ireland, there's still um, troubles uh, between uh, the uh, illegal migrants, uh, the police, and the Irish uh, nationalists and Irish patriots who are not happy about uh, the migration situation in And I agree with them. They are doing something about this illegal immigrants coming into their country. But what are the UK doing? Oh, well, oh, there's another boat coming in, coming in. Oh, do you want a house? Okay, there's a house. Do you want how much money do you need? Yep, we can sort that out for you. Just register with a doctor. You'll get all free health care. You'll get child benefit. How many children have you got? Yep, okay. You'll get work. If you get a job, you can get a uh, working tax credit, child working tax credit. Even if it's only a part time job. If your husband only does a part-time job, you can get working tax credit. You can get the lot. Yeah, coming in. Yeah. This is why. This is why. Ireland, that's still ongoing over the last couple of days. Uh, we have, uh, of course, as I said, Whitechapel in East London, as we speak, uh, is still getting wrecked. Um by the Bangladeshi community. And of course, now we have Leeds tonight, still ongoing situation. And again, if you just joined us now, it is important to mention certain people who are also involved. For example, this man who was recently elected as an Islamist uh, local politician, councillor for the Green Party, has now been spotted in the local area. Um, not really a big surprise anymore. Uh, we'll get a well, I'm going to try and see if we could get some sort of statement. I'm um, going to get in touch with him to kind of see if he has anything to say about that. Uh, I'm not expecting him to reply, obviously. Super sticker from Bullseye. Thank you very much. Another one saying, uh, English ladies, enjoy getting yourselves uh, fitted for a hijab. You all voted for this. Uh, as uh, somebody else also posted uh, incorrectly in the previous live stream in the live chat uh, i can assure you on behalf of uh, the majority of people who watch tctv they or we did not voted for this the people who watch tctv there might be one or two lefties who are currently watching to kind of see what i'm talking about but those uh, the english ladies that uh, people are talking about and watching this channel i can assure you i will defend them because they did not vote for this or for the labor party or any of that nonsense Natasha says, has there been any updates on the baby that may have been abused? Then, unfortunately not. So the, obviously the baby that was thrown out the window, the other five kids who have now been taken by the social services, uh, we don't know exactly what the situation is in terms of their well-being. <clears throat> anyway, let's just go through a bit. Let's just keep a little bit more, see what it's got to say. All right, let's just look here. It's uh, about some kids, you know, what they've taken from a family, five young kids, and this is... Now, houses are being set on fire now, potentially. This has got nothing to do with five young kids being took away from the out, out of a home. This is because they're using that as an excuse so they can go and riot and do what the hell they like and our police will jump in their vans and drive away and say, carry on, carry on. We don't care. I just thought I'd jump on and do this short video because I'm just absolutely disgusted by it. I'll keep my eye on it and probably do another one before I have to go and pick my grandson up tomorrow. Probably do another short one tomorrow. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please like, please share, please comment. And if you like what you hear and see, please subscribe to be kept updated. Till then, good night.